All right, guys, welcome back to All Things Outdoors. And also, please be sure to watch this video till the end. And also, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And also, please be sure to put that down in the comments below so you did that for a shout out. Without further ado, let's get started. So today we're out here at CBF once again. We're gonna be looking at the periodical cicada today. Today's video is all about the periodical cicada. Which maybe you see them flying around here. They're up in this tree here. Zoom in on that. Don't know if you can see them flying around in there, but they are everywhere. You can probably hear them. They're up in here too. They're everywhere. Lots of cicadas. There aren't a whole lot of them in that tree, but there are a lot of cicadas. Pretty good amount of them. We're basically in the peak cicada season right now, so there's gonna be a lot of them. So yeah, pretty excited about that. All right guys, so now I'm back at my house. Um, and uh, so I found this cicada right here. And he actually has sound organs. As you can see, he's making noise. Yeah. But he has sound organs. So the cicadas, unlike other animals, unlike other bugs, instead of like moving two body parts together, like crickets moving their wings, katydids moving their wings, uh, and stuff like that, cicadas have a special organ dedicated to sound. And you might be able to see it. We're just gonna try and flip up that wing. See that gray, oops. Uh, just gonna, uh, he's making noise. So this is the distress call. See that? That's the sound organ. See it moving? That's what makes noise. Pretty cool, isn't it? And they have three different songs. They have their mating call, which is this constant drone you can hear in the background. And then when the female gets closer, they kind of go, like, you know, like the annual cicadas almost. And then they have the distress call, which you just heard. Pretty cool. Neat little bugs. I love cicadas. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Now, I'm gonna move back to CBF. All right, so now we're here in a different part of the CBF property area. As you can see, there's the headquarters building. One of the most environmentally friendly buildings, uh, I believe in Maryland, actually. Um, so yeah, pretty cool building. Really love it here. Wonderful place. And all credit goes to CBF for uh, well, I don't know about credit, but like, you know, uh, kudos to CBF for doing what they do. It's just a great thing, you know. They're really helping to, you know, clean up the bay, Chesapeake Bay. And they're really just doing a whole bunch of good for the Earth Chesapeake Bay Foundation people. Love the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Great organization. Yeah, so anyway, we're out here. And in these trees here, these Bradford pears, there are lots of cicadas. Oh, there's one right there flying away and I'm gonna actually hold one whoop they're flying everywhere let's try and get one okay we got one wow whoops just flew away <laughs> and try and get this guy here then whoa they're all flying away usually you can easily get them huh it's weird Usually they're very easy to catch. We're gonna try and catch one here right now. I can find one. So they're pretty good at blending in actually, despite their bright colors. They're quite good at blending in, we'll say. Um, let's see if we can just spot one on one of these trees. Oh, I heard one. There's one right there. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, he's right there on that piece of grass. 
Got him. So you got our cicada here. It's a periodical cicada. So this is the periodical cicada. They are native to basically the eastern half of North America, and they do not really live in the super far west in the Appalachians, but they can live in the Appalachian mountain region. And there's like a fly around me. It's kind of annoying. Just move away from wherever he's coming from. Uh, anyway, out here again, here's our cicada. He's kind of clinging on, trying to get a better angle. There we go. As you can see, and this is not hurting him in any way. As you can see, this is the periodical cicada. So these guys are native to a good part of the eastern North America, and they are actually very interesting because they only come up once every 17 years. So these guys will come up. So every 17 years, these guys will come up. They'll come up out of the ground, and they will um, actually emerge and to mate. And they um, they mate, and then they lay eggs, and then they the eggs go down into the ground for another 17 years, and they um, just kind of sit underground while the eggs and nymphs develop, and then in 17 years, they actually come back up and reemerge. Uh, to repeat the cycle. And there's trillions of them that emerge. We have Brood X. So this is the largest and densest of the broods. And Brood X is just stands for Brood 10 um, in rumor for Roman numerals. But it sounds cool, doesn't it? Anyway, so yeah, we have the largest and densest brood. And this kind of, and this comes up in a lot of different states. It comes in mid-Atlantic, East Coast, in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, uh, I believe parts of New York, uh, Virginia, I don't know about North Carolina, but I think North Carolina, maybe South, not South Carolina, but they do come up in Virginia and they, and like further West too, like in Kentucky, Tennessee, I don't know about Tennessee actually, um, but Kentucky and like Ohio, places like that, they're everywhere. And they, uh, basically just kind of come up and these guys are completely harmless. They do not hurt you. They do not bite. They don't sting. They don't pinch. They're not poisonous. You can actually eat cicadas many different areas people actually eat cicadas you can tell what they are because they kind of got these orangish wings and they have black bodies with bright red eyes um and they yeah and they are so cool and these guys are such a great uh food source for many predators and that's actually their strategy that's why there's so many of them when they come up that's why a lot of them will all come up at the same time and they will just kind of come up and they there's so many of them that the predators all the predators will eat all of the cicadas and they'll get full and there will still be enough to um for the cicadas to breed and lay eggs and keep the population going so yeah so cicadas they basically eat tree sap so underground they will eat the sap from tree roots and in the air they also eat the sap from tree roots but yeah and they basically just eat tree sap uh with their little proboscis. I don't know if you can see it, but they have a little long, kind of like, almost like a needle thing kind of sticking out from underneath their mouth. And that just pokes tiny holes in the tree and they suck sap out of them. So, pretty cool. Um, and all sorts of different animals eat them. Raccoons, all sorts of small mammals, mice, rats. I don't know about rats, actually. Mice, uh, squirrels, uh, and reptiles like Skinks, lizards, birds, uh, I think frogs will, eat, frogs will eat them, and just basically they're kind of an all-in-one. All predators can kind of eat them. And these guys can fly, as you can see he's flapping his wings. There's some in there, and they're flying everywhere. Yeah, pretty cool. Love cicadas. Oh. Um, and these guys are very important to the ecosystem as they provide food for a lot of predators. And they also help to aerate the soil with their holes as they, you know, kind of dig around and they make tunnels and stuff. And that aerates the soil and keeps it from getting too compacted. So, yeah, very important little insects. And they do a lot for... And they only live for about two months above ground. They don't live very long above ground. Uh, but underground, they live for 17 years. So these insects are technically actually older than me, which is pretty cool almost 20 year old insects guys have been around for almost two decades pretty cool yeah all sorts of animals eat cicadas and they're just so cool so yeah if you see a cicada don't be afraid of them because they can't really do anything 
But anyway, that's going to be about all for the periodical cicada. We're going to let this guy go. I'm going to watch him fly away. There he goes. So yeah, that'll be about all for today's video. So once again, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Put that down in the comments below saying that you did that for a shout out. And we will see you guys on the next adventure.